Welcome back to the new episodes of Lab Insight. My name is Andrei. My name is Yuri. And you are now on the official YouTube channel of Lab Group in Russia. For the newcomers to know, Lab Insight is a series of technical videos about cabling and wire products. We will give you some how-to hacks from cable crimping to drug chain installation. Today we will talk about cable chains, about its design and assembling, and we will show you how to increase the length of the chain or how to shorten it. The first cable chains were introduced to the market in 1950s. They were made from the steel, as this was a cheap material easy to get. Steel had been produced really since the invention of the Bessemer process a century before. Cable chains made from steel show high tensile strength and resistance to high temperatures. Until then, flexible cables and hydraulic hoses had simply hung loose from machines that resulted in damage and rapid wear. At the end of World War, new forms of plastic were processed. In 1971, the first cable chain from polypropylene was released to market. This material was first made in 1954 and produced since Whitley 1957. Although at the beginning people were skeptical about the use of plastics and engineering, thermoplastic drag chains are just as brilliant as steel today. This can be seen uh, on almost any machine shop floor. This growing acceptance is due to the extensive testing that has demonstrated the longevity of these cable chains, which have also convinced engineers of the suitability of plastic for a wide range of applications. Today for this purpose we will use this plastic chain, it is 445 model, medium series, with unit dimensions of 45 mm in height and 163 mm in width. This chain has a bending radius of 125 mm. These types of chains are used where you need to connect the moving parts of equipment with cables and hoses. This is the most commonly used chain because of its self-supporting capacity and inner dimensions. We will also use this special equipment for pressing the pins. First of all, you should take the end brackets off from the side where the new links are to be added. For this purpose, also use a special instrument because the pins are very fragile. After that, we take the parts of the chain for increasing the length. We adjust pin holes and then insert a pin. Then using the same instruments, we press it in a hole. After that, we close the frames and mount and then bracket in the same way. It is important that there are certain limits uh, as for the cable chain length. It means that the chain cannot be too long, otherwise cables and hoses load together with the links weights will lead the cable chain negative stack and breaking down when moving backwards. To know the chain maximum travel length, you may refer to its technical description in our catalog and self-supporting capacity diagrams. You may also contact our technical department anytime you need. Stay tuned with us and learn the latest news of Lab Group in Russia. Subscribe on our official channel in YouTube and follow us in social media on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you and watch us in the next episode. Bye-bye.